Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm here with a look at the NECA Ultimate Ash action figure from the Evil Dead 40th Anniversary. This will be a regular release, but it is currently available as part of NECA and Target's Holothon. I went to five Targets and only saw this at one Target, and there was only one left on the shelf. I think that's because it's dented, uh, which was great for me because I don't care about boxes. I collect action figures, not boxes. But speaking of boxes, I love the artwork of this box, especially the little horror sticker. I like the retro VHS vibe to this. You know, we've had so much Evil Dead 2 and Army of Darkness merch over the years, and even Ash vs. Evil Dead merch. But the Evil Dead, in its own right, is a classic. And it's nice to have some proper Evil Dead merch now. Uh, even though, you know, it may not be as exciting because he doesn't have a chainsaw arm or a Necronomicon to hold or anything like that, this is still a welcome item to have in my collection. First of all, they did a great job with the head, especially his luscious head of hair, that, that Evil Dead 1 hairstyle. It's so much more fluffier than we have uh, for Ash in uh, later films, so I think that's really good. Also, the basic uh, design of his uh, shirt and pants as usual from NECA, the sculpt is really well done. Articulation is really solid. Uh, it's been a long time since I had a figure and the uh, elbow joint, you know, didn't break off after playing with it for a little bit. They've really gotten better at the, uh, the, 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 the brittle joints and stuff. It is worth noting, though, that the, uh, they still paint the inside of the elbow joint, which flakes off after you use it for the first time. But at least the plastic underneath is the same color as the rest of the paint. That's nice. Now, he comes with some, dare I say, groovy accessories, including these two alternate heads. Uh, this one's got an open mouth and slightly wider eyes than the uh, regular one. Um, I think I prefer the eyes of this one, but I like the expression on this one more. And then we have a little more startled, a little more curious, a little more suspicious of what's around the corner with this one. It's a good expression. I dig it. We get the chainsaw, one of the most important accessories that one could have with Ash, the chainsaw, and it does look great. A lot of nice details on it. No complaints there. We have a pair of grip hands, uh, including a trigger finger hand for gripping the shotgun, but long before it ever became a boomstick. Some nice paint to give the wooden effect for the brown sections. We have this lantern, which mine is disconnected here. There should be a little extender that goes into that hole and it doesn't go. So, bummer. Dented box and a uh, busted lantern. But the work on the lantern looks good. Probably one of the niftier accessories, though, is the uh, little reel-to-reel -reel that's got the, uh, the Necronomicon Ex Mortis uh, dictated on it. Like most neck accessories, it's got a lot of good detail. And finally, we have the axe. Um, because the lantern's kind of busted, I probably wouldn't be displaying it with the lantern anyway. I do appreciate the flame inside. I'll probably be displaying him with the axe or the chainsaw or the shotgun. Here he is rocking the chainsaw and the alternate head with the open mouth. And I gotta say, I think this is my favorite head. I really like the expression on the eyes, the eyebrows, and the mouth. It is worth pointing out that if you're trying to recreate this pose, uh, the elbow joint does not allow you to get the axe that far back. If this wrist hinged up and down, and it currently hinges side to side, maybe you can get the axe to rest that far back. But uh, that's a bit of a bummer because it looks like you could do it based on the photo, but you can't. The good news is he does look quite cool gripping the axe in a classic axe pose. One little thing I really appreciate is the fact that the uh, gun grip hand really does a great job gripping the gun. Not just the, you know, the trigger finger and the fingers wrapping around the, the base of it, but the, uh, the bottom section here, just the way the fingers and the, the palm of his hands, like it's a perfect sculpt that like perfectly fits the gun nicely. Alright, I know I said I had no intention of displaying this figure with the lantern, but I gotta say, like the lantern and that little scaredy cat ash face really do go well together. All in all, I like this figure quite a bit. It's got good sculpts and good paint. In fact, it is worth noting that even just like on the back of the figure, the, uh, there's some paint that highlights some of the wrinkles on the shirt there. That's a nice touch. The, the, the contrast of the shine of his belt versus like the, uh, the, the sculpt of his pants. There's some good texturing on the pants, not just the seams of the pockets and stuff, but like the actual surface has some nice detail to it. Even his socks there have some nice little lines to them. This is a good looking figure. And again, if you're an Evil Dead fan, I can't imagine you not being happy about this. There's so many Evil Dead 2 stuff out there and it's nice to have just a proper old school Ash. 
just in time for, you know, the 40th anniversary. I think this is a fun looking figure. I really dig it. Although, after having looked at this figure for a while, one thing that does strike me is just how much darker his sleeves are than the chest section of his shirt. I do wish that the entire shirt was uh, able to be matched better. Other than that, though, I do dig this figure. Thanks for watching, everybody, and let me know in the comments below what you think of this figure. And if you want to be up to date with all my latest reviews, be sure to click subscribe.